Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for July for the sign of Cancer. So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Happy birthday. Uh, let's see what comes up. This is for the month of July. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so it could happen at any time. It may not resonate the very day that you watch it. This is a perhaps a preview. It may or may not be for you. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy and see what comes up. Cancer. What do we have for the sign of Cancer? Ooh, contract. Uh, yeah, well, this is about balance. This is about bringing balance back to your life. This is... Uh, somebody has to make a decision whether they want to be in a contract, what kind of contract they want to be in. You know, um, perhaps there's an investigation going on of some sort. You know, I'm thinking this might have something to do with, uh, you know, this could have to do with some legal issues in regards to some contract that has been signed that could be the main focus. Um, make sure that you are seeing things clearly. Looks to me like somebody has blindfold on. Okay, before you sign anything or before you get yourself in any contract, make sure that you dig deep. Okay, um, it may look good, may feel good, may feel good. Okay, but it may not be what you think it is. Just, just be really, really careful. Cancer. Now reevaluate. You really are going. Somebody this month is about reevaluating a contract. That's what this is about. Make sure whoever you are in a contract with, whatever this contract pertains to, has pure intentions, okay? They may not, and you may need to reevaluate, okay? Maybe you signed a contract six months ago with somebody, and now you need to reevaluate. I don't know. Interesting. Another six. Sixes are about reevaluation. The journey to balance and harmony. Okay? So, you know, this is the Six of Wands. This is about recognizing. Um, this is a card of integrity as well as this one is. So, this is about doing the right thing. It's about protection, um, making progress, heading in the right direction. You may be being urged to go in a certain direction. Maybe maybe you're being urged to, you know, go after what you want. Go protect what is yours. Protect yourself. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, ooh, Ace of Cups reversed. Cancer. Ooh, the Tower. And the Ten of Pentacles. Mm. Six of Swords, six, six, six. I mean, come on now. Choices. You have to make a choice. What is going to get your life back on track? That's what sixes are about, getting your life back on track. You know, somebody is needing to leave some trouble behind. Leave something behind that has been troubling them. Could be an unrequited love relationship. Could be, you know, there's a loss of love. There's a loss of emotional content with that Ace of Cups. There's emotional shutdown. It's like it's something is going in the wrong direction. Okay, something. I mean, the Ace of Cups reverse. It's, it's pouring out. It's going in the wrong direction. There could be a loss of love or a loss of emotional fulfillment. And somebody is, you know, needing to just... 
take the high road, recognize what this is, find the confidence to to really take that passage because the Six of Wands is a rite of passage and so isn't the Six of Swords. It's a, it, it, it's time to go to that better place. It's time to get to that better place to do what you have to do for you. Now, the, this tower is a false sense of security. Somebody may have been holding on to an unrequited love situation, you know, just to have something to hold. Okay, but it was, wasn't built strong. It wasn't built stable. Now somebody is deciding that, you know, it's time to focus on happily ever after. And, you know, where they've been, it's, it, there's been a lot of chaos. There's been a lot of upheaval. There's, there, or there's going to be. I mean, the tower moment, this is, a, this is when lightning strikes and shit starts to fall apart. So be prepared. Get prepared to reevaluate your direction because, you know, something could come crashing down suddenly. There could be a sudden departure. There could be a sudden um, disruption in your life that, you know, pushes you in a new direction. Somebody could be turning their back on you or you may be turning their your back on them. It's like there's a some sort of, I think there's like a contract that is coming to a, an end. I do. Ooh. This is the end. This is the world card. This is, this is something coming to an end. The tower, now the tower and the world card, they're both universe cards. So this is the universe guiding somebody to make a decision, a difficult, painful, stressful decision. I, you know, I think there's a lot, there's emotional shutdown here. There's a loss of love or, or something like that. I mean, the ace of cups reverse, you can't make that up. So this is a lesson learned as well. It's so one phase, one chapter, one prominent. Somebody has graduated or they're graduating. They're graduating from an unstable situation, seriously, with the tower movement. It's like they're learning a painful lesson. Um, it's going to be uncomfortable. You may, you may... You may feel really uneasy about what is happening. Somebody could be getting thrown out, honestly. Okay, take a look at this card. Somebody could be getting thrown out. This may be a little bit much, okay? It may be a little bit much. It may be, you know, something that you just don't want to deal with. You may feel like you're, you're losing your mind because this happened so fast, whatever it is, or something has happened so fast. It's like this is about to collapse, and you gotta. And it's like you gotta run. You gotta. You gotta get out of here. So um, somebody's been wearing a mask. Absolutely, somebody has been in denial, blocking their true feelings, blocking their emotions, living in a false sense of security. And it's like the universe says, no, 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 no. no. It's time for you to move on. It's time for you to go to that better place. It's time for you to find your confidence, you know, and your courage to take that, take that road, take that passage. You know, this is a completion. Tens are completions. Ten of Pentacles. This is like a, a relationship, honestly. This this has to do with legacy. This has to do with. Um, your establishment. Somebody could be moving, moving out of the home. There could be changes in the home circumstances. This is a completion. This is a completion. Somebody, this this is a completion. Okay, completion of a uh, phase in your life that has really affected you. Okay. Um, now this is the emperor. Okay, it is. This Ten of Coins, but this is the Emperor's Seat. Okay, this is. So I'm, I'm just, you know, you may be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a father. You could be dealing with um, some prom very prominent individual in your life. Maybe you're the dominant one. I don't know. Somebody is... completing a cycle in their life that was... 
not built on stable ground. It wasn't built stable. There's, there's going to be some disruption, Cancer. There's going to be dis some disruption that completes a cycle in your life. It's gonna it's it's gonna bring you something more stable. It is. Because this is success, triumph, victory. After some sort of destruction. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get to that better place, but before you get there, there's gonna be some upheaval. And there's probably going to be a loss, okay? i got to be honest with you. The Ace of Cups reverse is a loss of emotional <laughs> content, okay? Somebody is shutting down their feelings or they're shutting down completely. They're not emotionally available. Justice reversed. Look at that. It's like the scales are tipping. The scales are tipping. Things are going to get turned upside down for a minute. Connected to the tower? Absolutely. Somebody hasn't been acting with integrity. Somebody has been lying. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. There's been unfair treatment here. There's probably going to be some legal issues or there has been some legal issues. Somebody definitely hasn't been taught. They've been hiding the truth, blocking the truth. In denial. In denial, holding on to a false sense of security. It was has something to hold, right? Two of Cups reversed. Yeah. Connected to the Ace of Cups reversed. Somebody hasn't been, and this is denial, this is avoiding the truth, hiding the truth, blocking the truth. Somebody has been holding on to a false sense of security, which is probably some sort of partnership, some sort of union that isn't meant to be because, yeah, it's something to hold. It's something to have. But this is bad karma. This is karma. This is lesson. So somebody may be receiving a karmic lesson in the form of upheaval, shock, disruption. Um, it's like their whole world is about to be shaken up, no doubt. Because somebody was not telling the truth. Definitely with the justice reversed. I think we, we, we have somebody here that is, is headed to a better place. Courtesy of the universe. It's like the universe is stepping in to nudge somebody in a new direction, to wake somebody up. This is a spiritual wake-up call, 666. It really is. It's time to get your life back on track. Somebody has been materialistically focused, right? That's what we got here. Somebody has been materialistically focused with these three sixes and this ten of pentacles, focused on things rather than love. And it's like the universe says, no, 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 no. That's false. That's a false sense of security. Wake up. Open your eyes. Take the blindfold off. It's time to do the right thing. Somebody has been in an unrequited love situation, and they've been holding on to it because it's something. I'm not kidding either. Page of Cups reversed. This isn't love. Somebody's holding on to a person that is emotionally unavailable. There's no love there. The butterflies are gone. The cup is empty. I mean, next to the two of cups reversed. It, you know, I feel like you guys this month are probably in the process or you're going to be forced. The universe, I mean, the... The Tower Court card is being forced. You're being forced. You don't have a choice. Somebody is going to be forced to make a decision in which they've been trying to deny and they've been trying to avoid. Somebody has been trying to avoid, you know, the truth. Trying to avoid upheaval, but this is unavoidable.
there's going to be some chaos. There's going to be some upheaval. I'm not trying to scare you, but it is what it is. Life is all, it's not all butterflies and roses and peaches. And I know we get some people who only want to hear that. That's called fantasy land. We're not in Disney World. This is, this is the real world. Somebody's been focusing too much on their wealth and not on love, and they're probably about to, you know, get a rude awakening, because that's what the tower is. A lesson is in a chapter. A lesson is about to be learned, and a chapter is about to come to, a, to an end. Has to do with a partnership. That somebody has been avoiding. Somebody has been avoiding, you know, the truth. This isn't love. It's not. And it's time. It's time to get my life back on track. So I think this month is about getting your life back on track. It's about, you know, bringing balance and harmony and peace back to your life. Ooh, this is fear. Fear of starting over. The fool reversed. Fear of taking that risk. Fear of letting go. Fear of, you know, going down that new road. Now, the fool is a new beginning, but this is reversed. Somebody has been reluctant to, you know, let go of the baggage. Let go of the past. Take a leap of faith. Reluctant. Letting fear get in the way of their new beginning. Six of Cups reversed. Six of Cups reversed, clinging to the past. Another six. So we have four sixes. Sixes are about reevaluation. It's a spiritual wake-up call. It's time to take that mask off and wake up. Wake up. Perhaps somebody's lesson has to do with forgiving the past. Letting go of the past. There's a lot of memories that are resurfacing. They're probably being ignored. Somebody is trying to push down and block. That's the truth. The middle card. Right now, somebody is trying to block the truth, block their true feelings. All the while living in a false sense of security because it's something. Ooh, three of Wands. Get prepared. Get prepared. Something is arriving. This is an arrival. Here it comes. This is a I mean, if you look at it, I just heard, here comes the bride. I don't know what that means. Somebody could be, you know, for some of you, I know this is a different direction. Could I just heard that in my head. Here comes the bride. I don't know what that means. Um, get prepared, though. Get prepared for something. She don't look too happy, though. And this is a contract. This looks like this person is walking right into a new contract. Some of you could be...
put it into something that you didn't expect. Just saying. Be careful. Be really careful that you don't get yourself into a false contract. Because this is a this is false. Okay, this is a false contract. I'm telling you what. You got you better be careful. I'm just being honest with you. Some people don't want to hear honesty. They'd rather hear fantasy. You can find it. Trust me. You can find fantasy. Just just keep scrolling. Be careful. You got somebody is <laughs> Signing a contract with something that is not stable, not solid, not real, something that's not going to last. Be really careful. This could be somebody that's trying to prove a point. I'm just telling you, be really careful. Um, ooh. Knight of Swords reversed. Now this this is <laughs> this is not a good situation. Whatever it is, the Knight of Swords reversed. This is untrustworthy individual. This is an energy thief. This is somebody who doesn't care who they hurt. Somebody that lacks integrity. If you notice the lightning here and lightning here, be careful because lightning could strike at any time. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't care who they hurt. Very selfish energy here. Take more time. Take more time to think about who you are signing contracts with. This is seizing an opportunity. Four of Cups. This is seizing an opportunity. Looking forward now. It's time to look forward. It's time to, you know, go find the love that you deserve. Let go of the resistance. Let go of holding on. Let go of the regrets. It's time to build a new foundation elsewhere. So I, I really feel as though you guys pr may have a new opportunity coming into your life. But you're going to have to completely let go of the past. This is let go of the past. You know, false foundation completely. This is a false foundation. This is a, a unstable situation that has no opportunity to last. There's a new opportunity here. There is. You might have to take a risk. You might have to face your fears. that to a sword somebody has to make a choice do you want to keep staying in the unrequited love situation that doesn't have any stability that you know or do you want to you know start over and wait for the right one to arrive. This is, I mean, this is an arrival, but this is, patience is needed. Something is coming. Something is coming. The right opportunity is coming. But you got to wait for it. You have to wait for it. So patience is needed here. I think we have somebody here that this is this is is completing a chapter that has to do with you know their past. They're learning a lesson about holding on to a false sense of security, about holding on to a false foundation. There's somebody is getting a rude awakening from an individual who 
doesn't care who they hurt. You're probably somebody is probably going to deliver a message or they're going to take action or they're going to they're going to do something that causes somebody to wake up the hard way. Somebody's going to get a rude awakening from another individual who doesn't care who they hurt. So be prepared. And this is get prepared. But this these are just cue cards for me. These cards all mean certain things, different things, okay? I just look at them and whatever comes out comes out. Somebody has been holding on to a false sense of security because it's stable, it's solid, it's secure, but it's not love. And it is not love. And you can try to you can try to pretend that it's love until you are fucking blue in the face. Okay, that is not love. That is not love. And that is not love. Okay? That's not love. The Ace of Cups reversed, the Two of Cups reversed, and the Page of Cups reversed. Uh-uh. No. No. That's not love. And if they could wait, they could meet the love of their life. So, for some of you, what you have been waiting for could be coming into your life. But I think that this month is about letting go of a false contract. So that you can be with the love of your life. Good luck.